Oh my god, I freaking love this picture. Whoever created this, uh, I didn't, full disclosure. It's pretty I, accurate. I make most of the graphics <laughs> on the show, um, but this is beautiful. Okay, so Hillary Clinton has, unlike any other presidential candidate in the 2016 election, shared her views on UFOs in Area 51, and she vows, if she's elected president, to investigate it. And this actually is a little bit different from some of the other presidents. Uh, Bill Clinton and especially his chief of staff, John Podesta, have actually spoken publicly a lot about um, how they felt that they could have done a better job of investigating the UFO phenomenon. Um, what do you think, Tamara? I don't know. I don't really want to crush everyone's dreams, but I actually lived on Area 52, which is in Dugway, Utah. It's Dugway Proving Grounds, and it's Area 52. Oh That's what they I call it. I knew I picked it. a story for the right reason. Yeah, and... It honestly is nothing special. It's chemical and biological testing, or at least that's what made, they told me it was, even though I was living on the base. But I don't know. I just feel like there's nothing really to disclose about it. And people really think that we know a lot more than we do, but I think they're just giving too much credit to the government, honestly. How much did they pay you to say that? <laughs> I wish I could give you an answer for that. They paid me in old phones. In old <laughs> in alien Nokia cell phones. phones. <laughs> okay, so... That's interesting. I did not know that about Area 52. Uh, I'm not convinced that UFOs are real at all, but... See, I do I, think UFOs are real, though. I can't... You do, I but can't, you don't think it's Area 51? No, definitely not. Honestly, I feel like the common population of the United States and the world know as much about UFOs and everything in general, just as the government does. I think we give the government too much credit on their knowledge that they have the world. Like, things like SpaceX exist. SpaceX knows more about space than NASA does, and guess what? They're not publicly owned. That is reasonable. And, you know, uh, that's like my biggest read on the whole UFO thing. Uh, I don't know if anyone at home has ever worked with a government agency, but they are just so inefficient. Um, just getting like a fax sent is, you have to send three faxes to get your fax sent. And you have to hope it's not lost in the process or that it's not sent to the incorrect person or that maybe it, not even, it might not even happen. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I just don't think mankind, um, even if you're a government employee or a high ranking uh, government official is capable of keeping a secret like this. I don't think we're good enough. And, you know, maybe I'm being naive and everyone knows, but I don't know. That's my take. You got anything else? <laughs> Not really. Not really. Well, Hillary Clinton wants to know about it. John Podesta really wants to know about it. Uh, Podesta tweeted that his biggest failure of 2014 was not securing the disclosure of the UFO files, but I definitely don't think it hurts to get some disclosure, right? Like if there are files that are currently classified, why not? Um, but I mean, listen, here at the Fowler Show, we're not folks that, I mean, we're, we're not pushing a UFO disclosure agenda by any mean. But I, I thought it was interesting. Of, yeah, I think there are a lot of really more important things going on other than UFOs, even though that would be really cool. Hillary doesn't think so. That's why, <laughs> that's why she's standing under this. Uh, she's ready to go. Theme.